This is Michigan's retirement coach, Mike Douglas. Mike Douglas, certified financial planner here talking about all the ways that we need. Well, not all the ways. I mean, there's no way to cover it in just one podcast. Talking about some of the ways. So they should subscribe, click, subscribe, follow, get notifications because we will eventually cover all the ways. Hopefully. Hopefully. How much time you got? There is a lot to take care of. <laughs> I don't have to explain that to you as far as what we everybody is responsible for now. 20, yeah. 30, 40 years of retirement, figuring it all out. It begins with getting it all into a plan. That's what Mike and his team are here to help you create. They do it every single day in their offices. They can help you as well. Start the conversation by visiting us at lifeplanwealth.com. We also have links posted in the show notes. So you can just click there or again, the website, lifeplanwealth.com. All right. Let's talk about one of the things that people, it really just at, at a startling level affects the financial well-being for all of us. Anybody that's a saver, anybody that has any kind of account. And yet it's just not talked about. And I think for obvious reasons, financial, big financial companies, they don't want you to know what you're paying in fees. And they might say, you've got this one thing, but if you really do the deep dive looking into how much you're actually paying, I mean, how many times have you seen just a completely shocked face after you do a fee analysis on somebody's portfolio? Yeah, those are some of the hard meetings because one thing that nobody wants to do is feel like they've been taken or like they were kind of a, a sucker with something, you know? And so when right, when right. you walk through fees with someone, nobody signs up for high fees. Very rarely sure. does someone sign up for high fees. They sign up for, they trust someone with information, they trust someone with their finances and their life savings. And then at some point, things aren't adding up. You know, I had one client who asked me years ago, he says, it feels like the market keeps going, but I keep staying. And why is that? And we did some diving and uh, found out he's paying a pretty high fee structure. So the, the so problem was- Even though there was fees, so yeah. much growth in the market, he wasn't seeing <laughs> the return on his investment because of fees? Yeah. It was one of those where the market was going up six, seven, eight percent, but he was going up about two or three percent. And he couldn't wrap his mind around why there was a gap. And as we really dig some deep diving into it, it was, well, you got three or four percent in fees over here, two to three percent here. And it really adds up. And again, the frustration is not only paying the fees, but not knowing mm-hmm. you're paying the fees. And That's so right. when it gets revealed, it's not just a matter of bad investment. It's a matter of did I have bad judgment? Did I choose the wrong person? Did I trust the wrong person? Where could we have been if we hadn't gone through this? So yeah, when it right. comes to fee structures, people are very uh, frustrated when they find out some of the truths behind it. So what's interesting, the fee conversation, Americans pay attention. If you're watching this to get retirement information, when we get done with this podcast, pick up the phone and call your kids and grandkids and tell them to be aware because it's getting younger and younger, the fee assessments put upon us. The Biden administration is actually working to reduce junk fees for college students is where it's starting now. Right now, schools can actually include fees for books and supplies under the label of tuition and fees, even if students can find the materials at cheaper prices from other sources. These fees can still be put upon students by colleges and I guess universities. And I think that probably that's another situation where people don't realize what's getting put upon them. If it's just lumped into that tuition amount, it's you got to kind of break down the line items. And so let's talk about that. The idea of working with somebody to break down what's really happening in their portfolio, because not only is it about creating overall efficiency, but it is, it's about creating more income and more, more wealth for each individual person at the end of the day in their retirement. So when you do a fee analysis, what do you look for? What do you find? How does that go? Well, one of the biggest things about fees is that you have to know where to look. It can be really difficult sometimes. You can be looking in something as simple as a one-page, well-described out line item. Uh, you'll get your monthly statement, and it'll say management fees, generally really close to the top, but sometimes you got to dig through the transactions to find them, and those are the easy ones. Mm-hmm then sometimes people come in with other investments and we have to look through their prospectus. And once we dive through the prospectus, we can see, well, this mutual fund costs you 1.2% or this variable annuity costs you 3 4 5%. But it takes reading. And some of these prospectuses, uh, I remember the couple that we've looked through, they're four, five, six hundred pages long. And so yeah, they're written by- lo- is fine. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. they're written by lawyers and insurance agents. So it's not exactly pleasure reading as you're trying to find them. But one of the challenges is to- 
dig through that and understand it. And I, I just I know that the frustration comes from a lack of understanding for most people. I think of this one client we have when she came in. One of the things we talked about in the workshop was knowing what you pay in fees. It's fees are kind of like going to a grocery store. When you go into a grocery store, there's stickers everywhere. And the sticker price is what you're supposed to pay for that item. And imagine getting through the checkout lane. And as you get up there and you put all your stuff, you've got a cart full of groceries and you put all the stuff on the conveyor belt and you get there and there's no big screen for you to look at. And you say, well, where's the screen? They say, we don't do screens here. You say, okay, well, I guess I'll check it out on the receipt. And they said, actually, we don't do receipts. What do you mean you don't do receipts? Well, what we do is we send an annual statement and it tells you everything we charged you through the year for each product. But don't worry, we detail it out. It's just going to come later down the road when we send it to you. And you think that's kind of crazy. And then they, as they're scanning your cart, they go through it. Remember, you have a, a, not even a full cart of groceries. And they say $500. You say, it's not $500. It's only a half cart of groceries. How in the world is it $500? Well, if you actually could see the prices, you would know why. And you're thinking, there's no way I'm going to pay 500 bucks for this little bit. But it doesn't matter. You don't get to know how much things cost. Investments work the same way. You have all these investments and you're invested in them all year long. And suddenly... You get this end of year statement and they send you a book called a prospectus and you have to go digging through it. And the only way to find out what you paid is by reading this book. And there's no way we would do it in a grocery store. And a grocery store might be a couple hundred dollars. But when we're talking about hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars to give away not an extra dollar or two, but an extra percentage point or two, we're talking tens of $20,000. And it's a lot of money that you're just giving away, not because you're choosing to, but because you don't know where to look. We have this one client, when she came in, we had done this whole talk about fees and groceries and the whole thing at a workshop. And as she came in, she says, hey, I have this account over here. It's my 403B. I have this other investment account, but there's this annuity over here. Don't touch that. That just It can't be messed up. Please don't screw it up. And I said, okay, I'll look through everything you're asking me to. Why do you say that about the annuity? Well, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. My husband and I owned a construction company. And through 2007, eight and nine, when the market just tanked out and in Detroit and his construction company was closer towards Detroit when construction froze up mm -hmm. and they had nothing and it got really difficult. After that, he said, there's no way I'm going to let that happen to us again. So in 2011, he bought an annuity. It was a variable annuity with a joint income on it. And the reason he bought it was so that way someday if he couldn't sell their construction company, he'd have income for both of them the rest of their lives. And so he had that and okay. he kept on working. And then he died very unexpectedly, late 18, early 19. And she has this annuity and she says, this is from my husband. It's what he left for me so I'd be okay. And so yeah. do not touch it. It gives me income. It gives me everything I need. I said, is that the only goal of the money? Because this represents a big chunk. She had about $600,000 and this was 400,000 of it. Okay. And I said, okay. is it just about the income? She says, well, no, I'd also like to leave something for my kids. All right. Well, that makes sense. So it's for income and for legacy. Yep. So I knew the product. I knew the company. I knew what we we're looking at. And I, I had a fear that it was going to be a very high fee structure. And I said, I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to mess it up. I would like to do my due diligence. And I saw, I did some research on it. And I came back the next week and I said, here's the deal. This annuity gives you $19,000 a year of income and they're mm -hmm. charging you $18,000 a year in fees. That's an inappropriate number. So between the two what things, what did she if, say? Well, she couldn't believe it. And I went through line by line, item by item. And I said, if it gives you the income the rest of your life, I guess that's okay. But the problem is the second half was you wanted a legacy. Well, this is $400,000 and $37,000 a year is leaving between fees and income. There's no way there will be any money left out of this money for your kids. So if this is what your goals are, we need to change some things. And we went through, and it wasn't a quick process, but just understanding and education. And then as we ran some more opportunities, we said, what are you paying for? Well, she was paying 1% per year for a joint income rider fee. Well, she's a widow. There's no joint income. It's just her. So we wanted to get rid of that fee. And we went mm -hmm. through and, and, and brought a lot of other stuff down. Well, then we ended up replacing it with a different product where she paid a 1% fee, about $4,000 a year, to get $21,000 of income. So now her income is greater, the chance mm -hmm. of a legacy is significantly higher, and her fees went from 18000 a year to 4000 a year. And as we went through the process, the hardest thing 
is it wasn't just an account to her. It's not just an investment. She kept saying, this is from my husband. This is what he left me. And so to make a move on something like that, it's not just about investments. It's not just about income. It's about where the money came from and what it meant for her life and what it meant for her kids. And that's another reason why she wanted some of it to make it to the kids is because it's not just for me, it's from him too. And so Mm -hmm. as we understand these issues, it goes deeper than just, I have this IRA, I have just the 401k. It's about what the money means, where it comes from and where it's going. And when we have these conversations, it really comes back to understanding people's story, what they want life to look like, what they've been through to help understand what they do or don't want to go through. So when people come to us, they go to our website, lifeplanwealth.com. There's a button on there that says, start your retirement roadmap today. If you click that, we have coffee and we have these conversations. Where have you come from? Where are you going? What is the story that got you here? And what do you want that to be like the rest of your life? And from there, we can give you really solid information so you can make informed decisions. It's not about us. It's not about our investments. It's about you being educated on your investments, your life savings, so you can make good choices. So from there, we'll do fee analysis and make sure you're not overpaying. We'll go through and build a solid income plan, understand risk, build a legacy plan, whatever it is your family needs, whatever it is you guys want to talk about. That's what it's there for. But it starts with a conversation, clicking on that button on lifeplanwealth.com. It is so important to fully understand how much money you are paying on your own money. I think that that probably is the rule, the core of the frustration of understanding what fees we're paying. It's like, this is my money. I'm paying out on my own money. It, it doesn't make sense. Right. So doing the math, crunching the numbers, having real awareness and understanding of what you're truly paying, getting that fee analysis is what Mike and his entire team are ready to do with and for you. Again, lifeplanwealth.com is where you can begin that conversation. Get clarity on your money. Make sure it is working efficiently for you, for your family, for the years ahead. Mike is ready to help you do that. We also have links posted in the show notes. Or again, visit us now at lifeplanwealth.com. Thanks for listening to Michigan's Retirement Coach with Mike Douglas. To learn more, visit lifeplanwealth.com. Michael Douglas is an investment advisor representative of Stewards Wealth Planning, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if Michael Douglas is licensed in your state, please call 517-323-7526. Stewards Wealth Planning, LLC is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Michael B. Douglas, NP. PN number 9650939.